Today we're taking a look at the integrated GPU of the Ryzen 7700X in 3 d Mark Night Raid. We'll be going through a stock run and a system memory overclock run. The stock config is a stock CPU with the default memory speed, which is DDR5-4800. The overclocked run is the CPU at 5.3 GHz all core with the system memory overclocked to DDR6000. As you're undoubtedly seeing, the pretty big memory overclock basically is not helping performance at all. The iGPU on the Ryzen 7000 is so incredibly cut down, there's really not much you can do to really even tweak it, even just a few percent. Currently, there's no BIOS options on my ASRock X670E PG Lightning motherboard for the iGPU overclocking. There didn't really seem to be any capability for overclocking the iGPU in Ryzen Master either. Maybe this is a feature that will get added later on, but I'm not sure. I do hope it will be though. I know these iGPUs were not meant to replace the traditional AMD APU offerings, but they really seem a little too cut down. You can play esports titles, stuff like League of Legends, maybe Fortnite at 720p, probably with the performance mode enabled, and other games similar to that. Side scrollers, stuff like that, it'll definitely work. In terms of the 3D Mark Night Raid score, both the stock and the overclock version essentially scored the same somehow. The GPU score was right around 3,300 or 3,320. That puts the iGPU on the Ryzen 7700X, a CPU released in 2022, pretty much right up against the HD 5500 which is several years old and several Intel CPU generations behind. If any of you want to see actual gaming benchmarks, let me know down in the comment section below, and I might take a look to revisit the iGPU. For now though at least, without any overclocking functionality added into the BIOS for the iGPU, this is truly just a video output feature instead of a holdover solution until your new GPU arrives. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for new videos.